improvements? What did you really see from the team this week? You know, uh, this past weekend was really fun at, at Baylor because uh, we got a school record that we've been trying to get forever. Uh, Divine ran, you know, 10-10, legal win. He's run faster before, but it was never legal. And for school records, it's got to be two meters per second or less. So we finally got a calm day and uh, really fun to see him do that because he's been really wanting it. And then uh, we just, our overall team, I think, we had an opportunity to run in some decent weather for a change and, and just improved a lot of marks. Uh, four by four is pretty special. Uh, you know, we didn't quite think we were ready to run that fast and this early in the year. So that was really good. I think that's the third fastest time ever uh, for, our, for our, our school. So uh, those are probably the highlights for me. Did that get the team going whenever you see Divine run something like that? It was, I believe, a 14-year-old record, top 10 uh, in the world. I mean, what does that really do for a team when it's something like that? Like you said, you've seen them do it before, but just in, in a context like that, it's got to be something special. Yeah, I, I always tell them, even like the 4x1, we got to start the meet off right. And I think the 100 was early in the meet. And, I, you know, when, when that's done, and then, of course, uh, the announcer knew that it was a school record and it was stadium record, and so I, I think it just, you know, everyone starts feeding off that, and that's what made it so good, I think, the rest of me. Now, it seemed like an indoor, you know, everything was at home, and now for outdoor, it's been along the road for the next two weeks, you're here. What is that, how, first of all, how has the team been doing going on the road, and then how does it feel to get back for, for a couple weeks? So, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, we were so lucky indoors to not have to travel. Uh, I think our kids are fresher. Uh, we've had to travel a little bit lately, but nothing that's been like in the past. So, uh, but we love running at home. I mean, this is a really special time. If you look back at the meet last year and every year, we do special things here at home. Kids are used to it. They know what's going to happen. Uh, this is a real important meet for us uh, with the four teams. It's a scored meet. Uh, Wichita State, Kansas State, and Nebraska. They're all big dual meet type teams. Nebraska's number two in the country ranked, so we would love to beat them uh, to move up. Texas A&M is one right now considered. Uh, it's kind of a, it's not a national thing, but it is something that they keep up with. So our team's kind of excited to go after them and to have an opportunity to see how well we can do. Does it feel good? I mean, obviously we're being ranked so high both indoor and outdoor. Is it, is it nice to get that hunger to have someone really highly ranked to come in and not be the one targeted as much, but have someone that you can really look at and say, let's go beat this team? No doubt. And this is kind of a mini conference, even though, uh, you know, K-State's in the conference. But I think it, since it's scored, and it's going to be like when we go to Waco in two weeks, uh, it just gives us an opportunity as, for each person to know, man, I need to take care of my business because we're trying to pull each individual event together to, to score for that team at the end. And so uh, I think it creates a little team chemistry there that you don't get just going to an invitational. What does it feel like whenever you break a record that's 14 years old, 10th best in the, in the world? What, what does something like that feel like us, for those of us that will never do something like that? <laughs> well, it feels great. Like, it's just like something you, you never like expected to do, and you just go there and do it, and you just find out that you just do something. And it just feel like, oh, God, I'm, I'm grateful for giving me this opportunity to be or not in this way so it's just a moment just for me to like take or thank you and like it's an exciting moment yeah coach uh, coach mentioned how you've done it a few times but they weren't legal because of the wind or whatnot. what did it feel like to, to do it again and actually get this one through well i've been like praying to god to make sure i get like a legal time because last year i ran like fast but they were not legal but like it was like a, uh, a grateful moment for me when I noticed like oh, I just got a PR role. like I was like okay there's a, there's a good beginning like it's a good one to start with and I just does that does that fire you up whenever you break something like that whenever you get back in next week like how, how do you take that going forward? do you just try to like beat yourself again or what do you, how do you yeah do whenever such things just happen I just try to make sure I be myself and I do what I need to do and just listen to my coach and listen to what he asked me to do and just do it and whatever just happened just happened you know they know best and when they say do this and you just do it you just find out that you're just doing the thing so easy and you just see the results coming so when it comes to this week specifically you guys you know indoor you guys were at home almost every week it felt like and now you've been on the road for a little bit what does it feel like when you're going to be back for these next these next two weeks um Good because uh, while we competed like this weekend, yeah, yeah, home, like no traveling stress and nothing. I just pray to God and I hope like I get something good too, like just something beautiful for me to be able to, like to get to the national uh, with a good stand and 
I'll be so grateful to God for that. Do you do you expect to, to beat your mark again? Um, if that is what God wants, so be it. But I just, I just want to do something good.